if you look at where China is in terms of its urbanization rate, it just reached the 60% mark, and the U.S. is solidly above 80, and Japan is in the 90s. So from a long-term perspective, I think the property sector is still has lots of growth, and it's such an important sector to the overall GDP of China, representing approximately a quarter of the GDP. So overall, there is substantial amount of opportunity in the real estate sector. I don't want to name any specific names, but I would recommend investors pick specific managers that have a long-term track record of picking good companies with strong governance, a strong balance sheet, as well as companies that really have been prudent in terms of their use of leverage. Teresa, do you have a line on what a restructured Evergrande would look like, what it should look like, in fact, and do you think that it will be investable again? That is the $10,000 question. At the current time, what we do know is that the government is working with all of the stakeholders to ensure a orderly restructuring. Whether this actually means that there will be an ongoing concern called Evergrande when all of this is said and done, it's actually not clear. Um, there will certainly be lots of asset sales from its balance sheet to pay off the creditors. And when I say creditors, I mean all of the stakeholders, you know, everyone from the very top who have bought the wealth management products to those who've put down down payments, all the way to the bottom of the capital structure, which would be the offshore bondholders as well as the equity holders. Trish, I've got to ask you specifically about uh, this latest issue to do with Evergrande, and that is uh, a couple of their uh, uh, blocks or projects in, uh, in Hainan. This is China's equivalent of Hawaii, their resort island. Authorities are ordering those blocks to be demolished or, or torn down. What's behind that? And this, I mean, it couldn't come at a worse time for Evergrande, which is just trying to get back to building again, right? That's absolutely right. You know, I think it's certainly caught both the company and certainly investors by surprise. Um, the government has been very vocal about implementation of environmental policies. And it appears that many of these buildings were built with permits, um, although those permits have actually been under scrutiny since 2017. So if we also peel back the onion a bit more, it also appears that one of the local officials um, have now been sentenced to life in prison for potentially uh, skirting some of these environmental laws. So it may not necessarily only be Evergrande that might have um, flouted some of these environmental rules, but potentially other property developers as well.